Thursday, May 17th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you some unbelievable pictures that have surfaced from West Virginia, right in this area here, Harper's Ferry. They were sent in by Elizabeth of some hail damage that's absolutely mind-blowing. I'll share those pictures here in just a moment. Uh, but first, let's look at the weather map of the United States. We'll do a global update uh, sometime tomorrow. But I wanted to look at the United States because it's pretty active right now. The entire eastern half of the United States looks like it's engulfed with a tropical storm. It doesn't have all the tropical features though, just a lot of rain and it's huge. It covers over 1800 miles. I mean, it doesn't even fit on the map. It's just a huge uh, rainmaker, anywhere from an inch to five inches in this area here. So I think it's going to be an early tropical storm season. Uh, look for several named hurricanes this year. As far as landfall goes, you know, that's anybody's guess. But I think the energy uh, and tropical moisture is definitely going to be there. Um, as you can see over here, the storm's getting ready to throw a fit over Nebraska, parts of the Dakotas, well, all of the Dakotas, down into Colorado, um, and they are exactly where they should be according to the lifted index. We won't talk about that too much. This is much like the Cape. If there's enough energy here, lifted index is temperature, uh, temperature variances. And you can see, like over here, the chart goes to negative nine. Uh, down here in north, uh, northeast Texas, you're looking at negative 10, and this is right now. So there should be storms in this area. At least the conditions are favorable. Are there storms in that area? Let's stop and see right there's the latest loop. Yes. Yes. Look all through here. Watch. All through that area. See how that goes? It fits perfectly. That tells us that conditions are favorable for severe storms. Whenever they get into the minus 9, especially the minus 10, then anything on the menu is possible with regard to severe weather. Now that's the lifted index. If you go over to the Cape, it'll show you pretty much the same thing with regard to severe weather, but it's not as, it doesn't cover as big of an area. Like the Cape here is showing 3,400, 2,500. That definitely is enough energy to create supercells and strong uh, thunderstorms. If you look at the Lee, the lifted index, it covers a much wider area. And as you can see, those areas are definitely looking at severe weather as I do this video. Let's step it ahead a few days to see what the uh, United States looks like for tomorrow. Same area. Look at that map. That's a lot of uh, temperature difference goes from 4 Celsius to minus 11. So a big difference there, and along that line, there's a good chance for severe weather. And that's tomorrow at 8 p.m. Let's look at tomorrow at 11 a.m. Look at this area, huge. Goes over to our friends in West Virginia where I'm about to share some incredible pictures of hail damage over there. I've never seen any quite this bad. Uh, it's just unreal. But as you can see tomorrow, all of these areas that are in the burgundy that you see right now on this map, let me shrink it so you can see it all so it all fits. Look at all these areas that uh, could see uh, severe weather tomorrow. All of these areas in the, the deep burgundy, severe weather potential. Let's go to Saturday. That's some very intense weather right there. Minus 13, are you serious? Let's go see where that's at. That's worth a closer look. Definitely worth a closer look. Minus 12, that would be north and east of Wichita. That would be at minus 11 near Topeka. Kansas City, Missouri, you're looking at a nine and a 10 and an 11 all around you. You are definitely going to see severe weather on Saturday at lunchtime and throughout the day. 2 p.m., oh, definitely. Look for big, strong storms on Saturday, guys, right through here. No doubt about it. Minus 13, minus 12. Kansas City, ooh, minus 15. I've never even seen a minus 15 on here. Okay, guys, so there you go. Be prepared for some 
extreme storms. That's Saturday at 5 p.m. That's this weekend. And that covers a very large area. So big heads up. Missouri, let's just say all of Missouri, the lower third of uh, Iowa, including Des Moines, below, uh, below Des Moines, above Des Moines, it's a minus eight. I mean, conditions are favorable. So let's just say anywhere in Ohio or Iowa, all of Missouri, most of Illinois, but especially the lower half, uh, Kansas, look at that, a minus 15. That's incredible. Let's look at the Cape. Yeah, you're looking at 43, 4,400, 4,700. Only goes up to five. I mean, that's as high as it needs to go for severe weather. So you're looking at a wide, wide area of severe weather this weekend covering multiple states. Everything you see in Burgundy and, and uh, the, the darker colors Conditions are definitely going to be favorable for severe weather, no doubt about it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, especially Saturday. Big heads up if you're in this area, guys. I'd like to thank Tim for sharing this story out of Connecticut. This happened yesterday where four tornadoes hit Connecticut. And uh, Tim was very emphatic in his email about the fact that this just doesn't happen in Connecticut, and I totally agree. I don't recall ever reporting on tornadoes from Connecticut. Although I will say in this day and age, anything seems like it's possible, but he said he's lived there, uh, he and his wife, their entire lives, and have never seen anything like this. At least three EF1 tornadoes, according to the National Weather Service, for a total of four tornadoes in Connecticut, May 16th. That is extremely unprecedented. This is a video that was shared from Sweden. And what I want to show you is, um, this is hail, a hailstorm. Another severe storm, but look at this one that fell from the sky that's the size of a softball. There were other big ones as well, but they broke apart. Um, she said when they were hitting the ground or hitting the buildings, but this one somehow made it and survived. I do have a still shot of it right there. Look at that. Like it's ready for a softball game. Giant hail in Sweden, tornadoes in Connecticut. Look for severe weather this weekend, guys, especially if you're in the Midwest. Uh, make sure that you have a safe area to go to uh, this weekend on Saturday, all day Saturday either a basement or an interior room that has no windows, especially if you're in the uh, northwestern Missouri area, this Four Corners area, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, especially. Conditions will be very, very favorable for severe weather. I'd like to report on this buoy. This is a different buoy. I talked about two yesterday. This is a different buoy that's now in event mode. These two here yesterday were the ones that were uh, showing us data. And I'll show you right here. This is a still shot from the video I did yesterday. These two buoys that I have marked with the arrow on the 16th were the two that were active yesterday, along with the one off the coast of New Jersey. Tonight, you're looking at this one here. It's the second one from the top that was not active yesterday. That's this one right here. I'll show you what it's showing us. You click on it, that's right at the center of the Bay of Bengal. Started picking up activity around 12 hours ago. It's no longer technically, you know, sensing anything. There's no tsunami. It's just picking up some sort of an anomaly like the other two buoys did yesterday. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it means. I can only theorize and speculate, but one thing we do know for sure, there is yet another buoy in the Bay of Bengal that's in event mode. Giant hail in Sweden, tornadoes in Connecticut. Look for severe weather across the Midwestern United States this weekend. And I'm talking very strong thunderstorms, powerful supercells in the Midwest this Saturday. Now the pictures from West Virginia. I'd like to thank Elizabeth for sharing these pictures. These are absolutely incredible. 
These are from Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. That home looks like it was uh, put through a sandblaster. That's hail, hail damage. Literally peeled 50% of the siding off the home. That's absolutely unbelievable. If you'd have been caught outside in that hail, that would have hurt you. Animals that were outside were probably injured from that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the side of this home. It's going to have to be completely redone. Doesn't even look the same. You can see they had to board up a window here. But the siding is just absolutely annihilated. I mean, I've seen damaged siding before from, from hail. Yes, of course. But this is on a whole nother level. Look at that. Unbelievable. Thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing those amazing photographs. I hope everyone's okay. Look at the vegetation on the steps there. Look at that. Shredded the trees. Six inches thick, full of leaves. There's, it's a miracle there's even any leaves left on the trees. Peeled the siding off the homes in that area. Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. Harper's Ferry is right here in this area where I have the thunderstorm icon. It sits right here near this river that separates, I think, West Virginia from Maryland, maybe? Virginia? Right in this area here. Tri-state area. Harper's Ferry, some of the most incredible hail damage I think I've ever seen. And I want to thank you again for sharing those pictures. And if you guys have any photos that you would like to share of weather phenomenon, any type of sky phenomenon, we are always looking for photos. And, and you can send photographs to reports at MrMBB333.com. Sky phenomenon photographs will make it to the Sky Phenomenon Photo Gallery, which you can find right here at this tab. This gallery was created by you and your incredible eye for the sky. Keep the cameras rolling, keep the pictures coming, we greatly appreciate it. And I think you will find this website a useful uh, tool for information if you want to learn about the Earth and the Sun. A lot of these tabs are real-time data, they're updated 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So take advantage of it, it's a good little hub for information. And you can find the, the links to this website. Um, and to the stories that I've shared down below in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.